in real estate transactions since 1980. And special thanks as well to Gettysburg Physical Therapy and Sports Medicine, along with Greencastle Physical Therapy and Sports Medicine, located at 371 East Water Street in Gettysburg. Physical Therapy and Sports Medicine is open for business and accepting new patients, a locally owned private practice. The staff of Gettysburg Physical Therapy and Sports Medicine is dedicated to providing our local community with the highest level of care possible in a compassionate environment. They emphasize cutting edge exercise and manual techniques to help clients regain their health, mobility, function, and overall wellness in their brand new facility. Call 717-549-2945 to schedule a free consultation to discuss your concerns and whether physical therapy is appropriate for you. Meanwhile, Greencastle Physical Therapy and Sports Medicine, located at 145 East Baltimore Street in the heart of Greencastle. Telephone 717-643-1813 or contact by email Greencastle Physical Therapy. Dot com. It really is a classic venue and a former church, a cathedral of exercise and rehabilitative therapy. You'll find it at Greencastle Physical Therapy and Sports Medicine. Well, who will be the player of the game? Corey Smith and I will make that sometimes difficult decision. There have been times where it wasn't too difficult. For example, Cole Bartram when he had 500 yards and nine touchdowns. We didn't have to do a lot of discerning on that night, but here we'll see. Uh, last time out it was Devin Sachs of Southwestern as they handled Biglerville with relative ease. I think it was a, almost, I think it was a, it was a mercy rule game. Uh, but anyway, the player of the game is sponsored by Adams Electric Cooperative. They've been shining the spotlight on tonight's player of the games and uh, every week since the start of the school year. And they've been serving the area's electrical needs since 1940. The people behind the power owned by those they serve, Adams Electric Cooperative. So the stage is set here for the showdown around the area. Uh, Littlestown lost a tough game to West York. Uh, Christopher Meekin can't carry that team. And you know, Zion Hur was an effective scorer last year. He has he has frankly Coach Forster wants him to shoot a little more. Be unself you know you can be a, a little selfish and generate some offense uh, i know cole riley was hurt and little sound they're used to making the playoffs and making a run and now they're going to be hard pressed they're probably somewhere on the bubble right now and uh tom sixes is here tonight covering the game for the paper i've extended an invitation for him to stop by at halftime he's seen uh, the thunderbolts recently so we can talk about that uh, Jake Bosley, a steadying force, lost to graduation. And uh, anyway, meanwhile, nobody talks about Jerry Eckenrode. All he does is win championships, four to be exact. Now, and now he's looking for one for the thumb in 84. That doesn't really rhyme, but uh, his, his Squirette's still undefeated. And they've had some pretty tough composition. Uh, com uh, some tough outs through the season so far. So look out for them. Uh, DeLone Catholic boys, they figure to get a, a district bid. Uh, Alla, or uh, also Fairfield girls. And Brianna Valentine, congratulations to her for her 1,000th point. Just got it this week. And uh, report in the paper as covered by Tom Sixers and the Gettysburg Times. She's headed to Mary Washington University in Virginia to continue her career at a D3 school. So uh, 
some celebrities in the house. Charles Warren is here, a uh, Adams County Sports Hall of Fame member, great warrior, hoopster, and gridiron uh, toiler who took his talents to Dickinson College and distinguished himself there as well. Of course, we're, we're up here in the, in the catwalk. Uh, Corey Smith is here. He'll zoom in from time to time, but uh, no punts in uh, basketball. Like That's probably the toughest shot uh, in football is when you're trying to follow the ball in the air uh, on the punt and see where it's going to come down and then zoom back in on the receiver. I, you know. I'm just glad that we, we don't have to do it all. Or we have some help out here, and Corey's been great. Uh, really, Brandon Glorioso, we really enjoyed having him back on New Year's Eve. It was excellent to have Brandon his, and his expertise on hand. So, Gettysburg's only loss of the year on their third game of the season against highly touted, highly ranked Carlisle. A savvy bunch in their own right, but with four seniors, starters, the Warriors figure to be a tough out here tonight against Greencastle. Well, who will be the player of the game tonight? Adams Electric Cooperative is sponsoring the designation. The people behind the power, owned by those they serve, supplying the area's electrical needs since 1940, Adams Electric. Well, you know, there, I talked about the obvious candidates for Gettysburg, and Ian McLean was the player of the game last time we covered the Warriors. So uh, Josh Herr, I'm sure he'd like to get that designation, bragging rights for however long it is till the next game. And uh, th in his case, our next sports event will be Wednesday, January 10th, when we'll be right back here at Gettysburg High School wrestling the highly uh, ranked and highly regarded program under head coach Chris Haynes, Gettysburg against Cedar Cliff. So Gettysburg has already dis dispatched large schools like Upper Dolphin, or not, I'm sorry, Central Dolphin and uh, Cumberland Valley, uh, can they do a similar number on Cedar Cliff? And I'm going to have a, a guest commentator. He, he's joined me recently in the last several years. Uh, Curtis Brillhart will be on hand. He's coached at the high school and collegiate levels, and we're looking forward to having his commentary. Also, an outstanding rugby player for Old Gaelic. Well, our sponsors tonight, uh, Greencastle Physical Therapy and Sports Medicine, as well as Gettysburg Physical Therapy and Sports Medicine, both open for business and accepting new patients. Both are locally owned private practices. The staffs of each are dedicated to providing their local communities with the highest level of care in a compassionate and relaxed environment. They emphasize cutting-edge exercise and manual techniques to help clients regain their health, mobility, function, and overall wellness in their facilities. Uh, Gettysburg, located at 371 East Water Street, just recently celebrated their one-year anniversary. Call 717-549-2945 to schedule a free consultation to discuss your concerns and whether physical therapy is appropriate for you. Gettysburg, uh, rather Greencastle, is in the heart of Green, downtown Greencastle. A beautiful setting where you'll find peace and healing. 145 East Baltimore Street, call 717-643-1813. Or go online, greencastlephysicaltherapy.com. And I can speak from personal experience these last several months. You really do have a personable and professional staff uh, they're so friendly and so supportive. 
and really have helped me in my own personal rehabilitation. Uh, the physical therapy three times a week has been tremendous. And back at the Y, being able to swim and use the hot tub, just super therapeutic. And I'm so grateful, Chris Sense and uh, all his fine staff do a tremendous job. Uh, uh, Adam Hawk as well. And uh, if I start listing names, I want to leave somebody out. So you're all tremendous, and I thank you all so much. Well, you're looking to buy or sell real estate? Well, there's only one name you need to know. David L. Seitz, broker owner of Seitz Realty, Inc., with 43 years of experience, Dave is your man. Call 717-487-4000 or 717-334-4674 or check the website, sitesrealtyinc.com. Sites Realty Inc., located at 571 West Middle Street, Gettysburg. Sites Realty Inc. and David L. Sites Broker Owner, your expert in real estate transactions since 1980. And in Biglerville... It's the Ira E. Lady, American Legion Post 262. These brave men and women served our country in times of war and peace. And now they give back to our local communities with their Elio Mazzanari efforts in Canner Country and beyond. We appreciate the sponsorship of Post 262 and especially thank Post Commander Rick Pelk, Past Commander Gene Schaefer, Manager Krista Sharon, my good friend Vernon Stein. Post 262, we salute you. And for more than two decades, a gold sponsor. A special shout out to Kenny's Marketplace, 100%. Employee owned, superior quality and perishables, and world class customer service. With over 40 store-made items daily, $5 specials every Friday. Fresh fruit friendly folks who find them at Kenny's. Serving our local communities with excellence since 1959. Stores to serve you in Spring Grove, Tony Town, Little Sound, Biglerville, and the flagship store in Gettysburg. My favorite place to shop. Don't forget your preferred customer card. Your passport to a world of savings at Kenny's Marketplace. And so... Warriors ready for the opening introductions. Starters for Greencastle, Eli Sterling, Serzan Solomon, Carter McCauley, Logan Alvey, and Connor Wright for Gettysburg. Ian McLean, McLean Josh Herr, Brody Wagner, Jonathan Darnell, and Charlie Shaw. Thanks. 
Excellent job by the Gettysburg High School pep band. And we are ready for some high school hoops. Regular season winding down in a, in a sense, about four more weeks of the regular season. And then you'll get into district play. We have coming up later this month, Waynesboro at Gettysburg on January 26th. And then the following Friday, February 2nd, Groundhog Day. Northern comes to town, and that'll wrap up our winter season. It's been a good one so far, and Cody Smith's been a big part of that. Thanks for all his developing technical wizardry and uh, outstanding camera work. I'm Jeff Cook, and Brody Wagner ready to tip it off against Connor Wright, who actually going through the the line after the introductions had, had a player, it might have been a manager, slap him in the face. So let's see what, whether that slop had the desired effect. No shot clock at the high school level in case you're wondering about that. So uh, this is almost like, you know, this is the type of offense, kind of like the Celtic weave. So many NBA teams run, they get it into Josh Herr. He can't finish, but Charlie Schull can. So give her the inadvertent assist. Two nothing, Warriors. So that's Sterling with it at the top of the key. Josh Herr will guard him. It looks like man-to-man -man defense to open for Gettysburg. Sterling thought about the long logo three, but and thought better of it. Boyer switch off and now it's Wagner. Got a piece of it with that long Albatrossian wingspan. Pull up jumper, no good. Yanked down by McCauley for Greencastle. They are the Blue Devils. Eurostep into a dime to McCauley. Good recognition, and they got it inside. Stahl again with the finish. Beautiful find by Ian McLean. So Charlie Schull, two quick buck outs, buckets, that's probably his per game average or exceeding it. Four for Charlie Schull, two for Greencastle. McCauley jacks it up from the corner and Schull on the glass for the Warriors. 4-2, 
in case you just joined us, you're watching live high school boys basketball on community media television, channels 12 and 240 on your Comcast Xfinity dial. Also on the website, communitymedia.net. Or the various platforms where you can watch the games in HD. Facebook, YouTube, Roku, and Amazon Fire TV. Well, that slap translated into at least one bucket as Connor Wright went to work inside and tied the contest at four apiece. Wagner with a soft touch on the feed from Josh Har. Two dimes for her here in the early going, 6-4. Nice little wraparound pass, but Wright maybe didn't see it right away. And the Devils turn it over. 6 4, Gettysburg with the early lead. Look at that great look. McLean with a dime, and the two highest scorers are dealing. Darnell wide open. 8-4, Gettysburg sharing the basketball beautifully as Wagner skies for the rebound. Well, a little too much hot sauce on that one. Darrell Wheeler is here. It's a varsity game at the Gettysburg Times. Darrell Wheeler is here and ace sports writer Tom Sixes. It can pack a lot of info into a few short columns. Informing the public what they need to know right in the paint. Follows up his own miss, rejected by Wagner. Eight four, Warriors getting Great looks, oh, that, a little too much French pastry. And you know, the Warriors need to calm down a little bit. You're looking for the solid pass, not necessarily the spectacular pass. And uh, McLean, his eyes got wide as he tried to thread the needle and slightly wide of the mark. Still an 8-4 lead though for the home team. Alvi, another great look. And a chance for an add one by Carter McCauley. So Logan Alvi, a couple of sweet threads. And Greencastle can get within a point. Eight, six, a chance to make it seven with 326 to go in the opening quarter. And McCauley coolly drains it. Five for McCauley, eight, seven, Gettysburg. And the Warriors commit the turnover. Timeout. Gettysburg, I think, I'm not sure about that. No TV timeouts at the high school level either, but a chance to thank our sponsors and all the great work they do. Kenny's Market, 100% employee owned. Superior quality and personals, world-class customer service. Over 40 store made items daily, $5 specials every Friday. Fresh food, friendly folks, you'll find them at Kenny's, serving our local communities with excellence since 1959. Stores that serve you in Spring Grove, Tony Town, Littlestown, Biglerville, and Gettysburg. It's my favorite place to shop. Don't forget your preferred customer card, it's your passport to a world of savings at Kenny's Market. And special thanks as well to the great men and women of Ira E. Lady, American Legion Post 262 in Biglerville. You're all about serving each other and serving our country. We appreciate the support you give to Canterland and beyond. Especially thank Post Commander Rick Pelk, Past Commander Gene Schaefer, Manager Chris Sharon, my good friend Vernon Stein, Post 262, 
we salute you. Sir Zahn Solomon puts Greencastle in front. Great look again. And Bodie Wagner with the finish. McLean with three assists. Wagner with four, and it's 10-9. Warriors in a seesaw battle here in the early goings. This game, all the hallmarks early on of an instant classic. Blocking foul on Darnell with 2.23 to go in the opening quarter. Well, you're looking to buy or sell real estate? There's only really one name you need to know. David L. Seitz, broker owner of Seitz Realty, Inc., with 43 years of experience, Dave is your man. Call 487-4000 or 334-4674. Check the website, sitesreality.com. Located at 571 West Middle Street in Gettysburg. Sites Realty and Sites Broker Owner. Oh, great finish. Josh Herr ahead of the, the crowd. So he's on the board and the lead back to three. Right, no, Wagner with another clear. Darnell, oh, no. McCauley wisely gave it up before he went out of bounds. Nearly a walk for Sterling. A minute 30 here in the opening quarter, 12-9. Gettysburg. You're watching high school sports on community media. Great job, Wagner. Tips it to himself a third time. <laughs> to clean the other way for the Warriors with just over a minute to go. Will they hold for the last shot? Or they'll hold for a good one, certainly. Josh Hart, spin move. Fifty one point three seconds left. Jordan Hunt in there now for Greencastle. And right on command, he knocks down the three ball to tie it. Instant offense off the pine. Jordan Hunt, oh, a little too much English. And Wright gathers in the miss. Solomon. Too hard with the pass. Josh Herr all the way to the cup. Oh, they're going to call a charge. So Alvey draws the offensive foul and the adulation of the visiting fans. Alvey says, hey, you want to see a lunch bucket guy? I'll show you. Watch what I have to say or what I have to do out here on the court. He looks like an old school throwback. Right, doesn't get it off in time. And Wagner there defensively. So nothing decided. One quarter in the books. Well, if you're looking to buy or sell real estate, there's only one person to call, and that man is Dave Seitz, 571 West Middle Street, Gettysburg. Seitz Realty Inc. at David L. Seitz, broker owner, your expert in real estate transactions since 1980. And special thanks to Chris Sands and everyone at Gettysburg Physical Therapy and Sports Medicine and Greencastle Physical Therapy and Sports Medicine. Both facilities are independent. 
locally owned private practices conveniently located in the heart of their respective communities. Our physical therapists represent over 40 years of combined experience in physical therapy and sports medicine. New patients are seen within two business days of scheduling with morning and later evening hours available. Almost all Pennsylvania insurances are accepted, including Medicare and Medicare replacement plans. Gettysburg Physical Therapy and Sports Medicine also offers affordable self-pay and payment plans. Services include orthopedic physical therapy, preoperative and post-operative joint replacement care, work-related and auto injuries, sports injuries. <laughs> There's Alvy again. Alvy gives Greencastle the lead. They can score too. 14-12. No. Solomon on the board. Right with a putback. 16-12, Greencastle with a two bucket advantage. Stolen away by Hunt. Sixteen twelve, Greencastle trying to work for a good look. Right, foul line jumper, no. Her came down on it. Or with it rather. Wagner working hard, but had it go off his hand out of bounds. Couldn't quite secure the rebound. Nav Johnson out there now for the Warriors. Where's number 25? 16 12. Just shy of two minutes into this second quarter. Live high school boys basketball here on Community Media. Who will be the player of the game? Duel and steals, and now it will stay with the Warriors. Well, for Gettysburg Physical Therapy and Sports Medicine, Chris Sensen, fine staff, call 717-549-2945. Greencastle, it's 717-643-1813. Or via email, greencastlephysicaltherapy.com. Contact either branch facility to schedule a free consultation to discuss your concerns and whether physical Therapy is appropriate for you. Johnson with a bucket. No, that was Julius Warren. My, my bad. Julius Warren with the deuce. And Warriors back within a field goal. Well, in addition to vertigo and balance problems, KT taping, therapeutic massage, Gettysburg Physical Therapy and Sports Medicine also has instrument-assisted tissue mobilization, blood flow restriction training, injury prevention programs, and much more. I can speak from personal experience. They do terrific work. Gettysburg Physical Therapy and Sports Medicine and Chambersburg Physical Therapy and Sports Medicine. We thank you for your support. Brody Wagner foul line jumper, no. Alvy, no. Solomon with another board, and on the Euro step, he gets hammered.
Well, who will be the player of the game? Adams County or Adams Electric Cooperative Inc. puts the spotlight on the player of the game and has been serving the area's electrical needs since 1940. The people behind the power owned by those they serve, Adams Electric Cooperative. Inside to right, great head fake. Got Wagner airborne. And back to a four point advantage. Connor Wright, senior for Greencastle, has six points to lead the guests in scoring. So Brody Wagner goes to the line with 4-11 to play in the half. Brody Wagner finds the bottom of the net. 18, 15, Greencastle with the narrow advantage. Still four minutes to go in this one, in the first half. Sterling with the left hand is good. He may be left-handed. Either way, it's a five-point lead. 20 to 15. Josh Herr wisely didn't try to dunk it and just laid it in the cup. Four for her. 2017 edge for the Blue Devils. Solomon. No good. Johnson with this, the block. Two on one break. And her takes it himself. Nav Johnson with the block shot. Getting production off the bench, Julius Warren and Johnson as Coach McLean. There's a tradition here in Gettysburg, you go seven deep, Coach Stooley did it for years. There's Johnson with another rebound. Three minutes exactly. Warriors trail by a point, 20, 19. Trying to go 10 and one here near the midpoint of the season. What a great look! <coughs> Couldn't will it in the cup as Johnson on the double clutch will go to the line and shoot a pair of freebies with 2.49 to go here in the half. 2019, a nip and tuck battle all the way. Brought to you by our sponsors, Kenny's Marketplace, Ira E. Lady, American Legion, Post 262 in Bigelowville, Sites Realty. Gettysburg Physical Therapy and Sports Medicine and Player of the Game sponsor Adams Electric Cooperative as Johnson misses the first, a chance to tie it, and he does. He's in the book, one of two, and we're tied at 20. We knew this would be a good game. Yeah, Littlestown in action tonight against York Tech. Don't know what that game will bring, but... Uh, Hunt, not this time. Good battle inside by McLean. Wright likes to shoot the three. And there's Wagner with another rebound. He's got four to lead all boardsmen. Uh, Johnson gave it a good look and ended up throwing it away. Too much, too many hands in there. Alvey, no, and he's fouled. And he'll get three free throws. What's it all about, Alvy? Logan Alvy, a crafty senior. Misfires. 20 all. The score. Holding firm. So Alvi has one more coming. One or two so far. A chance to give 
Green Castle, a two point lead, and he does. So that's one guy you don't want to foul in the act of shooting the three. He's probably a pretty good free throw shooter as he exhibits by nailing two of three, 2.05 to go in the half. The clean top of the key. So Johnson in there for Shaw. The other four starters remain the four seniors. Bullets taking their sweet time, looking for a good shot. Foul line for Wagner and too many dribbles. Lost it. Sterling with the layup and the lead is four. Great find by Solomon ahead of the fray. Stop and pop, good by Ian McLean. First points of the game. They need him to pick it up. He's had three assists, which have been impressive, but when you score 16 per, your team kind of has come to depend on that. Oh, it rattles out, and Her is there to gather it in. Wagner. Wow, I thought he was jawboned. No call. Quickly the other way, McCarthy lays it home. McCauley, rather. McCauley's got seven points to lead Greencastle Antrim with under 30 seconds of play. 26-22. High pick for Nav Johnson. Pick and roll. Tough shot for Josh Herr, but he feathers it in the nest. And the lead is two for Greencastle. Under 10 seconds to play. Josh Herr has eight. Coming on strong. Let's see what he has in the second half. Hunt nearly lost the handle. Is it good? Oh, wow. Jordan Hunt gets off an under duress launch near the free throw line. And the lead is six points, or rather four points at the break. Greencastle. A 16-point quarter, 28. Gettysburg, 24. We'll be back with analysis and sponsorship recognition after a short break. You're watching high school boys basketball on Community Media Sports alongside Corey Smith. I'm Jeff Cook. Stay tuned. Tickets for the half 
backward shot can also come down as well. $5 for two shots and then $10 for five. We are back here with halftime entertainment. Various would-be hoopsters trying to sink shots from half court. A couple have been successful. But anyway, a chance to recap the scoring. At the half, it's Greencastle 28, Gettysburg 24. A last second buzzer beating deuce by Jordan Hunt. Stretches the lead to two baskets. For Gettysburg, Ian McLean with two, Josh Herr eight, Brody Wagner five and four rebounds, and a block, Darnell two, Charlie Schull four points, Julius Warren two, and Nab Johnson one point off the bench for Gettysburg. For Greencastle, Eli Sterling four, Serzon Solomon two, seven points for Cardi McCauley to lead Greencastle and Logan Alvey with four. Connor Wright, the senior, six points, three rebounds. Jordan Hunt, five points off the bench for Coach Stevens and eight and two. Greencastle Antrim. A chance to thank our sponsors for tonight's telecast. 
They include the player of the game sponsor, Adams Electric Cooperative. They've been serving the area's electrical needs since 1940. The people behind the power owned by those they serve, it's Adams Electric Cooperative. And special thanks as well for tonight's sponsor, GreencastlePhysicalTherapy.com and Gettysburg Physical Therapy and Sports Medicine. Gettysburg's facility located at 371 East Water Street in Gettysburg. The Green Castle Physical Therapy is located on 145 East Baltimore Street in the heart of Green Castle. Phone 717-643-1813. Both uh, facilities are open for business and accepting new patients. They're locally owned, have private practices, and the staff of Gettysburg Physical Therapy and Sports Medicine and Greencastle Physical Therapy and Sports Medicine are both dedicated to providing their local communities with the highest level of care possible in a compassionate and relaxed environment. New patients typically are seen within two business days of scheduling and almost all Pennsylvania insurances are accepted. Call 717-549-2945 or stop by their beautiful new facility to schedule a free consultation to discuss your concerns and whether physical therapy is appropriate for you. That's Gettysburg Inch, Greencastle, the phone number 717-643-1813. And special thanks to Sites Realty. Are you looking to buy or sell real estate? Well, in the Adams County and surrounding areas, there's only one name you need to know. David L. Sites, broker owner of Sites Realty, Inc. With 43 years of experience, Dave is your man. Call 717-487-4000 or 717-334-4674. Check the website, sitesrealtyinc.com. Located at 571 West Middle Street in Gettysburg, Sites Realty Inc. and David O. Sites, broker owner, your expert in real estate transactions since 1980 and the brave men and women of Ira E. Lady, American Legion Post 262. We can't thank you enough for your charitable and philanthropic efforts throughout the local community. We appreciate the sponsorship of Post 262 and especially thank Post Commander Rick Pelk, Past Commander Gene Schaefer, Manager Chris Shara, and my good friend Vernon Stein. Post 262, we salute you. And our gold sponsor for over two decades, that's 20 plus years, it's Kenny's Marketplace, 100% employee owned, superior quality and personals, world class customer service, Fresh ground beef and over 40 store-made items daily. $5 specials every Friday. Fresh food friendly folks. You'll find them at Kenny's. Serving our local communities with excellence since 1959. Inside, McLean got the memo. Looking to score, but couldn't get the layup to fall. Sterling on the board for Greencastle. Solomon in traffic, and there Shaw with good position. McLean to Darnell, another dime for Ian McLean. His fourth assist. Darnell's got four, and the lead is cut to two. 28, 26. Blue Devils with the thinnest of margins. Well, technically that would be one point, but you know what I'm saying. It's a close game. Darnell with a steal. Ahead, McLean blocked by McCauley. Alvey the other way with it, right, with the left hand, too hard off the back rim, no. And there's Alvey, what a play by Logan Alvey. Gets inside with a stick back. The lead back to 4, 30, 26. Warriors settle things down a little bit. McLean in traffic, too many hands. McLean dies on it, great job. <laughs> now they're gonna call a foul, and the other ref says jump ball, so no, they're gonna, so a frustration foul, maybe on Ian McLean, and coaching staff wants to have a word with him, okay, You're, maybe he's forcing it a little much. He, they know, he knows, maybe he heard the halftime comments about you know needing a little 
more offensive firepower, but you just got to let the game come to you. Here goes for the, her goes for the steal. Blocked by Wagner, rejected. Brody Wagner. Now Johnson runs it down, no. And there's Solomon with his fourth board. Ahead to McCauley. He's got nine to lead all scorers, and the lead is six. 32, 26. Don't forget your preferred customer card when you go to Kenny's Market. It's your passport to a world of savings. It's my favorite place to shop, Kenny's Marketplace. Solomon runs down the long board. A chance to extend the six-point margin. Right, gets inside. Back rim, no. Wagner with his fifth rebound. Great job by Nav Johnson to float inside. And the deficit trimmed to four, 32, 28 with five minutes, 15 seconds to go in the third. This one looks like it will come right down to perhaps the final possession. McCauley, that's right, looking to deal on Wagner. Step under, no, good defense. But Sterling on the offensive glass, he's got six. Back to a six point spread, 34, 28. Darnell, not afraid of the moment. He's got five in the quarter, seven in the game. I said that at the outside. He's not afraid to take the three when it seems to count most of all. And it's a one possession game, 34-31. Solomon, strong inside. Wright was there for the put back attempt. Couldn't get it to fall. And Solomon called for the hack with 422 to go in the third. You're watching high school boys basketball on community media sports. Channels 12 and 240 in your Comcast cable dial or online at the website communitymedia.net or in HD on the platforms. Facebook, YouTube, Roku, and Amazon Fire TV. Josh Herr, the savvy senior, works his way inside and draws the foul where he's an excellent free throw shooter a chance to go to double digits as he steps to the line with eight points. Shooting two. Oh. Back rim, no. Alvey out, Hunt in. Same kind of styles, overachievers, savvy ball players. And Hunt and Alvey have combined for 11 points. Solomon guarded by Nav Johnson, who's got three points. He's had a solid supporting role here tonight. Her went for the steal and left Sterling allowed to go to the cup. Couldn't get it to drop. And there's Nav Johnson again, three boards for Johnson and he's giving quality minutes off the pine, right with a blocking foul. He's in disbelief, but a good call by the officials. Timeout, Greencastle, a chance to thank our sponsors, who will be the player of the game. Sponsored by Adams Electric Cooperative. They've been turning the lights on in Adams County since 1940 supplying the area's electrical needs, the people behind the power owned by those they serve. Adams Electric Cooperative and Corey Smith and I will have that tough election. We're, we're, all we're asking is to have a, a free and fair election. Also, special thanks to Gettysburg Physical Therapy and Sports Medicine and Greencastle Physical Therapy and Sports Medicine. They're both independent, locally owned, private practices conveniently located in the hearts of their communities. The physical therapists represent over 40 years of combined experience in physical therapy and sports medicine. New patients are seen within two business days of scheduling. 
with morning and later evening hours available. Almost all PA insurances are accepted, including Medicare and Medicare replacement plans. Gettysburg Physical Therapy and Sports Medicine also offers affordable self-pay and payment plans. Our, our services include orthopedic, physical therapy, preoperative and postoperative joint replacement care, work-related and auto injuries, sports injuries, vertigo and balance problems, KT taping, therapeutic massage, instrument-assisted tissue mobilization, blood flow restriction training, injury profession, prevention programs, and much more. The Greencastle Physical Therapy and Sports Medicine. Oh, w Wagner avoids a turnover and lays it in the cup. 34 all. That Greencastle address, 145 East Baltimore Street in the heart of Greencastle, Greencastle, greencastlephysicaltherapy.com, or by telephone, McCauley for two. 717-643-1813. For Gettysburg, it's 717-549-2945. Free consultations to discuss your concerns and determine whether physical therapy is appropriate for you. <laughs> Sterling for three. He's got five in the quarter. McCauley with another putback. He's got 11, and the lead is one, 38-37, as the team's battle here in the third quarter. Josh Herr, he's got 11 himself. Baseline jumper is good. Warriors back in front by a point. Two minutes to go in the third quarter. Can you say Donnybrook? Solomon looks to take it all the way to the paint. Stolen away by Josh Herr. In the corner to Darnell, nearly lost it. Great look to show, and he's fouled. I talked about the glue guy. Darnell saves a turnover and then gets it inside to Charlie Schull. 41-38. Warriors. <laughs> Shaw has the free throw. Solomon inside. He's got four in the game. 42 to 40. Warriors with a two point advantage. Julius Warren in the game. Stops, pops, no. Solomon in the right place at the right time. Right baseline, double, triple move, and there's Wagner with his third rejection of the night to go along with five boards, seven points. Forty-two, forty. Under 40 seconds to play. Nice reversal attempt. Wagner with his sixth board. McLean, no. Gets it back. No again. Solomon finally comes it away with it. Fifteen seconds. Greencastle looks like they're gonna play for the last shot. Worst case scenario, they go down the final frame by two. Wraparound pass right inside for the one-hander. Off the heel and good. And we're tied at 42. Nothing decided. Wright has eight. 14 points in the quarter.
42 all. Well, a chance to thank our sponsors. Are you looking to buy or sell real estate? Well, there's only one name you need to call. That's David L. Seitz, owner broker of Seitz Realty, Inc., located at 571 West Middle Street in Gettysburg. With over 43 years of experience, Dave is your man. Call 717-4000 or 334-4674 or go on the website, SeitzRealtyInc.com. Sites Realty Inc. and David L. Sites Broker Owner, your expert in real estate transactions since 1980. And our good friends at Post 262 in Biglerville, they've served our country in times of war and peace, and now they give back to our local communities with their philanthropic efforts. Solomon dribbles it off his foot, and the Warriors will have a chance to unbreak the tie. We especially appreciate the support of Post Commander Rick Pelk, Past Commander Gene Schaefer, Manager Chris Shower, my good friend Vernon Stein. Post 262, we salute you and a gold sponsor for over, it's like a drop kick competition here as Nav Johnson boots it away. A gold sponsor for over two decades. Where would we be without the steadfast loyalty and support of Kenny's Marketplace. Stores of serve you in Spring Grove, Tawnytown, Littlestown, Biglerville, and Gettysburg. Nav Johnson with another rebound. Foul on the floor. Johnson now four rebounds, three points. Well, Kenny's is 100% employee owned, has superior quality and personables and world-class customer service. Fresh ground beef and over 40 store-made items daily. $5 specials every Friday. Fresh fruit, friendly folks. You'll find them at Kenny's, serving our local communities with excellence since 1959. My favorite place to shop. Don't forget your preferred customer card, your passport to a world of savings at Kenny's Market. And Brody Wagner will go to the line and a chance to shoot a pair of free throws. Wagner's got the first, and the Warriors retake the lead by a point, 43-42, with 7-12 to play in regulation. Excuse me. Too hard off the back rim, right with the easy board. 43-42, with seven to play. Josh Harrow overplays the passing lane as Gettysburg stays in that switching man-to-man -man defense. Alvy called for the travel. Let's see if the Warriors can take advantage of the turnover. Wide open for player of the game. We'll see, have to see who wins. I think it's probably gonna to go to a member of the winning team. Ian McLean with the left hand. 45, 42. Devils cough it up again. Josh Hart brings it down. McLean says, hey, let's just take our time getting into our offense. We want to get a good look. Julius Warren! Cradles a big three. He's got five in the game. And that's Gettysburg's largest lead, 48-42. Julius Warren with his father in attendance. Five points off the bench for Coach Mark McLean. Right, looks to bully inside. And there's Wagner with his seventh rebound. He and Solomon. 
game high in that department. Little crossover. Solomon saves it. McCauley, Sterling, two. Sterling has 10 points all after the opening quarter. Coach Herr wants to talk about it. 5.30 to play. Gettysburg with a 48-44 advantage. Is no doubt the most exciting game we've had all year. And uh, it's going to come right down to the final play. Darrell Wheeler still here. That's a sign that it's a close one. Well, special thanks. Who will be the player of the game? Corey, and Smith, Corey, Corey Smith and I might have to go into uh, into overtime ourselves to make that determination. But that uh, honor is sponsored by Adams Electric Cooperative, providing electricity for the area since 1940. The people behind the power owned by those they serve, Adams Electric Cooperative. Thanks for being our Player of the Game sponsor all year long. And our Lady American Legion Post 262 in Biglerville, we thank you for your steadfast support and your support of uh, all things athletic and community in, in Biglerville and beyond. You served uh, our country in times of war and peace, and now you serve our local citizenry. We appreciate the support of Post 262 and especially thank Commander Rick Pelk, past Commander Gene Schaefer. Now Johnson couldn't get the roll, but Wagner there to put it back home. Eight rebounds, 10 points for Brody Wagner. Hunt into the contest. Back door, Solomon. Blocked by Johnson. And out of bounds. Johnson, impressive showing here off the bench tonight. Post 262, we salute you. You're looking to buy or sell real estate where there's only really one name you need to know. Hunt, bombs a three. The silent. Looks like Opie, but he shoots it like uh, a trained assassin. Stripped. What a great bounce pass. Sterling for two. Fifty to forty-nine. McLean got it. Ian McLean stepping up. He's got five and a quarter. Gettysburg leads by four. McLean unofficially with 10. That balance scoring continues. Right hook off the heel and through. Right has 10 points. McLean pulls up. Gives it up to her. A two point lead for the Warriors, 53 51. Julius Warren with that high arching shot. No good. Solomon with his ninth rebound. Seems to be in the right place at the right time. Darnell will get ready to check back in. Solomon looks to take it to the rack and does. 53 all. We are tied with three minutes and change to go here in the fourth and final quarter. Timeout, Gettysburg. These are the kind of games two years ago they might drop. Lately, they found a way to win. Can they do it again tonight? Well, Kenny's Market, a gold sponsor for over two decades. We salute you and all the great things you do in the community throughout the pandemic and beyond, 100% employee owned. Superior quality and personals, world-class customer service. Over 40 store-made items daily. $5 specials every Friday. Fresh food friendly folks. You'll find them at Kenny's. Stores to serve you in Spring Grove, Tonytown, Littlestown, Biggerville, and Gettysburg. 
serving those communities with excellence since 1959. Don't forget your preferred customer card, your passport to a world of savings, my favorite place to shop, Kenny's Marketplace. And special thanks to Gettysburg Physical Therapy and Sports Medicine at 371 East Water Street, Gettysburg, and Greencastle Physical Therapy and Sports Medicine, 145 East Baltimore Street, in the heart of Greencastle. Both facilities open and accepting new patients. McLean, no. Wagner kept it alive, Darnell. Wagner, oh, he's fouled. Both the Gettysburg and Greencastle facilities are locally owned private practices. The staff dedicated to providing their patients with the highest level of care in a compassionate and relaxed environment. They use cutting edge exercise and manual techniques to help clients regain their health, mobility, function, and overall wellness in this, their brand new facility. Meanwhile, in Greencastle, it's a former church, a classic setting, find peace and healing. Call 717-643-1813 as Wagner has the second spin out. His first free throw has given the Warriors a one-point lead, 54-53. Hunt again, too long this time. And there's Wagner with perfect position, his ninth rebound, working on a double-double. Two and a quarter left in this one. Warriors with a one point lead. Looking for a good shot. Don't want to force anything. Julius Warren still on the floor. McLean runs it down. Two to play. Warriors playing keep away, no shot clock here at the high school level. Coach McLean might, he does, he takes a timeout. With 1.47 to go and the Warriors playing to a 54-53 advantage. Whew, what a game. Great job, both sides. Somebody's gonna win. Will it be in regulation? We'll find out. Special thanks to our sponsors for tonight's telecast. Kenny's Marketplace. Stores are serving in Tawnytown, Littlestown, Spring Grove, Big Grove, and Gettysburg. Our E-Lady, American Legion Post 262. Giving back to the community and beyond. You're looking to buy or sell real estate. There's only one name you need to know. Dave, owner of Sites Realty, Inc. And Gettysburg and Greencastle Physical Therapy and Sports Medicine Facilities. Speaking from personal experience, tremendous care and the staff couldn't be friendlier and more positive and upbeat and really have helped me in my therapy. So I can, from personal experience, if I sound like a satisfied customer, it's because I am a minute 47 to go. Thank you to our sponsors. Thank you to Corey Smith for his fine work on camera and tech. Coming up next Tuesday, sports chat. Corey Smith and I will discuss the burning issues of the day. Wagner takes it inside, can't convert. And Wright rips it down. He's got 10 points, six boards. It might, player of the game, it might come down to who makes a big play down the stretch. And here, Coach Stevens wants a timeout. So everybody's so closely bunched in this game. Sterling with 10. McCauley with 11. Wright with 10. Jordan Hunt, eight off the bench. So the both, both teams have gotten production from their reserves. As Julius Warren, five points. Nav Johnson, three points, four boards, two blocks for the Warriors. Well, I want to thank Tom Sixes for helping me out, saving me a, tr a trip hobbling down to the scorer's table to get the Greencastle roster, so thank you. It looks like uh, Greencastle goes exactly six deep. 54-53. Who's going to rise up? 
and maybe earn player of the game honors. A minute, 12. Are they just going to be content to run down the clock? Warren on Hunt. Sterling inside. Look, Wright has the bucket. Great pass by Eli Sterling. 12 points for Connor Wright. And that one put his team in front. Gettysburg. Counting down to 40 seconds left in regulation. Blue Devils by a point. Who will take the big shot? Ian McLean wants it. No. Wright with another rebound. 31 seconds to go. So Connor Wright, big hoop, big board. Well, we're gonna have to wait and see. I don't have to run down there and talk to try to talk to players or get the final stats. So uh, Corey Smith and I will have a chance to deliberate. Our player of the game is gonna come down to what happens here in the final 30 seconds. Gettysburg looked a little shell-shocked, like they, did, they weren't ready for the moment. Meanwhile, uh, you know, McLean, he kind of maybe forced a shot up there. Of course, if it goes in, maybe he gets an add one. Great play, but still 31 seconds. A lot can happen. So Wright will be shooting one and one. <clears throat> or no, he's not, he's not even going to, it's not even a shooting foul. So the Blue Devils have to advance it. Meanwhile, Warriors with full court pressure. Devils get it into Sterling. Her goes for the steal, and McLean, that's actually a pretty good foul. Uh, they're still not at the line, so they'll inbound again over here on the side with 25.8 seconds to go. Who can be, who is big enough for the moment? They get it into Solomon. McLean wisely fouls him with very little time off the clock. And now they're, they're not really keeping track of the fouls over there on the scoreboard. Uh, it's got to be more than three fouls. They've, they've committed three fouls in the last 10 seconds. Charlie Shaw with a foul. So, you know, game of cat and mouse as Alvy gets ready to return. Four fouls. So you still got two more fouls to give. I mean, every second off the clock is... Advancing the cause of the Blue Devils. Shaw again, fifth foul. I guess the worst, you know, they, they hadn't committed any foul. They're just playing good D. And now Sterling will check in. So Solomon at the line. Looking to mine gold. Here for the Blue Devils. Rattles that one down. He only has seven points in the contest, but nine rebounds. And right now, maybe a couple of back-breaking free throws. Good form, too hard with it. Oh. Oh, right, got the rebound. And now they'll send Hunt to the line. I don't know, big plays down the stretch. That might lock up player of the game for Connor Wright if Greencastle holds on here. He's got 12 points, eight rebounds, and a lot of those points and rebounds coming in the final minute of play. Although Hunt has a chance, he's in the conversation as a bench player. Big free throw, he's got nine in limited minutes, instant offense. Spins that one around and down, and the lead is four with 18.1 seconds. And if you're Coach Stevens, you say, do not foul. So Gettysburg had a four point lead at one point, couldn't hold it. And now they're down by four, 18.1 to play.
Okay, sorry. Is that better? Oh, okay. Is that better? Can we get a little miscommunication? Hope we uh, had some static that wasn't too abrasive. 18.1 seconds to go. Balanced scoring by Green. Well, really, both teams have balanced scoring. Her 11 points. McLean, 10. Wagner, 11. Well, and, you know, Gettysburg's not in the bonus yet either, so not a shooting foul. 14.3 seconds. They need something fast. Josh Har, quick hoop. They're down two, 58, 56. Josh Har with a baker's dozen, but he's averaging 19. We well, hope you enjoyed this telecast. Uh, don't forget Tuesday sports chat. Corey Smith and I discuss the burning issues of the day. That's at six. And then at seven, live trivia. Amy Welsh and I will be your hosts as we do bat. We, we uh, preside as the greatest minds in the universe do battle, including our own Corey Smith, one of our distinguished panelists. Two point lead. 6.2 seconds to go. Do the Warriors have a miracle in their quiver? They need a steal and a quick two or get to the free throw line or how about an end one to win it? Solomon will inbound for the Devils. He's had a good game as well. Seven points, nine boards. Cody Wagner, nine rebounds, 11 points, three blocks. Certainly if the Warriors win, uh, he's a candidate, but I mean, let's see what Corey Smith has to say on the issue. Like I said, Connor Wright's made the big plays down the stretch. Balanced scoring throughout the game, 12 points in all, eight rebounds, and uh, Oh, here's Jordan Hunt. He's got 11 off the bench, and the lead is three. This could be the final nail in the coffin for Gettysburg. Not this time. Her. They call timeout. Well, and now if you're Coach Steven, you said, hey, let him, just don't foul. Put a hand in her face, but do not foul, especially on the three-point attempt. So, interesting, uh, savvy move. Just two and a half seconds, Greencastle with a three-point lead. And uh, these two teams will meet again later in the season. So our next basketball telecast will be three weeks from tonight when Waynesboro, the defending league champion, comes to town. Meanwhile, our next sports event will be this coming Wednesday, Gettysburg hosting Cedar Cliff in boys wrestling. Gettysburg wrestling, the talk of the area in terms of how they've been able to Take down bigger schools. Can they do it again with a win over Cedar Cliff? Find out on Wednesday. I'll be joined by guest expert analyst Curtis Brillhart. They want to get it into her. Three seconds. Throws it up. No. And that'll do it. 59 56. Greencastle hangs on.
Yeah. Jordan Hunt off the bench. Every every sub's hero. He gets a chance, makes the mo most of his minutes, scores 11 points, including some icing free throws. So he snatches it away from Connor Wright. They can fight about it over in Greencastle. Congratulations, Jordan Hunt, our player of the game. For Corey Smith, I'm Jeff Cook. Gettysburg loses a tough outing here against Greencastle tonight, 59-56. Until next time, sports fans, good night.